We are one company. We are Gold Corp. And we have a thousand stories to tell. There are new ones every day. In siete países. Dans beaucoup de langues différentes. Stories about opportunity and growth. Vision and strategy. Progress and value. Stories that inspire. Stories that surprise. Stories that move us. And stories that challenge us to be better. Como por ejemplo, cómo ayudar a reconstruir una comunidad. Para dar esperanza a una nueva generación. How to create choices. Or how to breathe new life into an old land. Many of our stories come from the earth. But only some are carved in stone. We're always listening, learning, evolving, and sharing. So listen. And let us share some of our stories with you. Una buena asociación comienza con ser un buen vecino. Esta es la historia de Peñasquito. Que yo cuando llegué aquí y vi los camiones, este, me sentí capaz de hacerlo, ¿no? Eh, mi familia sabe que trabajo aquí y que opero este camión, de las dimensiones que son, y ellos están orgullosos de que trabaje aquí. Me llamo Juan Carlos Ramírez, trabajo en el Departamento Ambiental. En el Departamento Ambiental, eh, pues trabajamos, es un, es un gran equipo, un gran equipo. En este vivero, eh, ten, eh, esta, este vivero tiene una capacidad instalada para producir 2.5 millones de plantas al año. Creo que estamos haciendo cosas bien importantes. Eh, nosotros creemos definitivamente que la empresa la hacemos nosotros, ¿no? Parte favorita de mi trabajo es esto ensuciarte, sacar problemas, eh, aprender, cada día aprendes más, es, esto es una escuela a diario, se aprende algo nuevo. Pues es una fuente de trabajo muy importante, me está generando la oportunidad de estar primero que nada aquí en mi país y cerca de mi familia. Peñasquito tiene muchos, muchos, muchos beneficios, tanto ambientales como como con las personas. Apoyamos a las comunidades con educación, con computadoras, eh, con diversas cosas que se les da a los niños allá afuera, ¿no? El concepto de, de su prosperidad sustentable que ha, ha establecido Gold Corp es muy importante para nosotros debido a que estamos muy enfocados con nuestras comunidades Este, le queremos agradecer a Minera Peñasquito por las oportunidades que nos han dado, por todo, por todo que nos han brindado, porque la verdad no sé qué por dónde empezar, sobre lo del, de la capacitación del proyecto de los guajes, sobre la construcción de la capilla. Para mí es un, un orgullo trabajar aquí en Minera Peñasquito y y pues más que nada que gracias que nos dan la oportunidad de, de superarnos profesionalmente y personalmente para el bienestar de nuestras familias. Estemos en Argentina, estemos en, eh, en Honduras, estemos en el sur de México, en Estados Unidos. Creo que lo más importante es que todos compartamos esa cultura ambiental de Gold Corp pensando en ese ámbito global y poder llevar a Gold Corp a una compañía de clase mundial. In safety, as in life, practice makes perfect. This is the story of the Muscle White Mine Rescue Team. The Mine Rescue Competition is an event that we all look forward to every year. Uh, it's a chance to do what we do best, and we enjoy doing what we do best. The Marlin team will be there, not competing, but they'll be participating. They had the courage to come all the way up here to the cold north. Although we spoke different languages, um, there was a, a camaraderie there that was unspoken. It was something that, you know, you just looked in their eyes and, and you saw that they were doing it for the same reason. 
a phone call came through from underground that someone had been hurt. So it was the team's responsibility at that point to take the initiative, to collect the proper lifting equipment and first aid equipment, and immediately respond. The judges have very strict criteria and demerit sheets for, to how to, for how to evaluate each team. We train very hard so that our, whenever we do work and whenever we do have to perform, that our actions are flawless. So we train for weeks ahead of time and it just comes naturally. When we did realize that our team had won, we were extremely surprised and extremely gratified. But it was great for us knowing that the Marlin team had come to, to show their, showcase their skills and also learn from what we knew. And we didn't want them to go home empty-handed. We knew it was much more important for us to hand off our trophies to the Guatemalan team, to encourage them to keep doing what they're doing. I'm very happy. I think that the things went well to all the group. They went well, and I'm very happy. We're all there for the same thing at the end of the day. I just want to go home to our families and just be trained and ready for an emergency. When it comes to Mind Rescue, we're all from the same company. You know, we're all Gold Corp. We're all brothers. We're all we're all uh, fellow co-workers, so we're all in it for the same reasons. ¿Qué sucede cuando se cierra una mina? Grandes oportunidades se abren. Esta es la historia de San Martín. One of the great things I've seen over a fairly long career in the mining industry is the integration of environment into the business of mining. We operate in a very, very responsible manner, and that includes, prior to developing the mine, it includes construction through operations and into closure. And closure is a very, very important part for us. San Martin in uh, Honduras is a great example of, of how we've planned closure and how we've implemented closure. We developed the closure plan, the closure plan was good, it was vetted by external sources, by the government, and then we set about implementing the plan and we did that logically. The result, I believe, is absolutely great. The foundation was conceived as a way to develop the uh, local community, the local uh, economics of that area, so that at the end of the day, the mine didn't end up just stopping. There was a way in which we could take the the benefits of the mine and extend that beyond the life of the mine. Uh, it's not just what they're doing on the site, but it's the extension work that they're actually doing in the local community that I think gives this mine almost a second life. Once you understand where that mine is going through its productive life and into closure, you can plan, you can put the right things in place, and the end result is not something which we would be in any way dissatisfied with. We're going to have a great site left behind, and that's really what we're aiming for. It's a great result for us, great result for the government of Honduras, a great result for the local community. We believe that we can leave an environment behind which is uh, a credit to this company. It's not just about what the earth gives to us, it's about what we give back. These are the stories of our Canadian reclamation projects. first came up to the district in 1994. Um, it, was a, uh, it was a much different picture in 1994. The lake here was, uh, was a very turbid color. It was classified as a dead lake. Gold mining was responsible for that. In 2003, it was reclassified as a fishery, which is absolutely essential and exciting. Um, the Bomber Lake recovery story is something that we, we promote locally. They're very appreciative and enthused that Gold Corp is basically investing time, money and research in the recovery of this lake. We want to make sure that the, uh, the environment we're handing down to, to my kids and, and their kids is going to be as an, an acceptable quality that, uh, that we're utilizing today. Utilizing nature and, and biological activities to help treat our effluents and we're learning from nature what, to, what we can do and what things she can illustrate to us to make things better in the future. I'm Laszlo Goetz, I'm Environmental Manager at Porcupine. I manage uh, the environmental matters of our uh, three operating sites plus uh, at least 20 formerly abandoned and closed mine sites. We show some pictures of the reclamation. We had to, to, to blast out some, some bedrock in order to make room for a channel. This was the first season and yet at the, at the end of the first season 
we already had grass growing on the site. When you look around here and you do a survey, you, you see thousands and thousands of species. We are involved with, uh, with, a, with a, a public watchful group, the Porcupine Watchful Eye, and uh, uh, they are overseeing all the, the reclamation activities and, and other activities we do in terms of mining. We have the technology, we have, uh, we have the, the, the know-how, and, and there's the willingness from our part to do it right. I'm the proudest of, of what we see behind here. What you see behind is what we achieved in a short few years. This is what I'm the proudest of. Sur les anciennes traditions vient un modèle pour la construction d'une mine moderne. C'est l'histoire de Léonard. This is a special day for my grandson. His first day out, and it's so special. So he get lucky. He gets lucky for his first uh, hunt. The industry has evolved significantly over the last few years uh, in terms of how we've engaged Aboriginal people. For Aboriginal people, there's a natural mix there. They bring traditional knowledge. We in mining have scientific knowledge. We will move into the future much more effectively as a mining company when we consider, when we bring those perspectives into the decision making that we are engaged in. We want to add value to the community. We just don't want to come in and do our thing and leave. We want to add value to the community, and they've stu stuck to that concept, and that's the concept that our community has said, well, this, if, this is, if this is what they want to do, okay, we'll add value to, to this to our lives. There's a stake in it for everybody. We have a strong commitment uh, to have a positive impact on, on those surrounding communities. We, we're talking about the James Bay Crees for sure, but also the, the, the non-native community around the project. We eat together, we work together, and we play together after. So it's something that we, it really creates close bonds. So you've seen maybe the, uh, the tent, the teepee that we have built. A lot of people go there to socialize, so there's a lot of interaction between the, the, the local Cree and the company people. It's, uh, it's actually a lot of fun. The mining industry and Aboriginal people will, will learn from each other, and, and, and not only learn from each other, but, but uh, support each other and, and grow together to make the industry that much better. It's the little lessons that you learn every day from your grandfather and your father. It's, uh, and it's very simple. Respect, sharing, kindness. And our goal is simply to be awesome with our buildings, with our attitude, with our ability to deal with large companies such as Gold Corp and still maintain that humble spirit that, that makes us who we are. The partnership has, is going to continue to grow in a meaningful way that adds real value to both parties and I think that's, that's the key. No es suficiente para ser próspero si no es sostenible. Esta es la historia de Marlin. We wanted to bring Chief Rodney here to Marlin to see with his own eyes the types of positive impacts on socioeconomic development that the Marlin mine or any mining project can have on local communities. The expectation I had was basically to tell my community if somebody ever picks it up again, saying, yes, there's obviously there's some issues there, but there are people benefiting out of this. There are people within the region that are benefiting from the of, of the mining, of the development of the mining, and I've met people. But, but I mean, the expectation was that I wanted to see for myself what was happening. Esta oportunidad que me dieron en la empresa, en la mina, y fue una beca que durante tres años me sostuvo. Eh, dándome apoyo en cuanto a eh, colegiatura, hospedaje, comida y eh, también algunos útiles escolares. Y eh, pues deseo que si es posible una oportunidad de empleo 
al cual deseo con la experiencia que tengo apoyar a mi comunidad, que cual eh, podría sostenerse por sí mismo en trabajar con animales y en fin, varias cosas. Hay 17 invernaderos construidos acá, tenemos 17 más en, en la parte de abajo, en, a, la, a la orilla de, del río Cuilco, en el sector que se llama Los Chocoyos. Nos oyeron nos mencionar de que era mucho mejor los proyectos de invernaderos, así fue como nosotros tomamos muchas decisiones y estuvimos solicitando, al fin y al cabo nos, nos dedicamos a solicitar con la empresa Marlin, por motivo de que hoy por hoy pues nosotros somos ejemplos de los futuros que vienen, estoy seguro que si se siga motivando eh, probablemente va a ser mucho mejor de, de donde estamos. Primero este, este tipo de proyectos son proyectos que si sí, realmente son productivos porque son rentables y son sostenibles para que es lo que finalmente la empresa persigue a través de, de nuestro departamento y de, esta, y de esta mina en particular. Ya que con el apoyo de ellos la educación aquí en San Miguel y Xabacán ya casi tiene un alto, alto nivel de, así de desarrollo porque siempre ha ha funcionado así, dando unos proyectos educativos. El niño aquí en San José Iscaniche, el niño es activo, dinámico, niño así paciente, generoso, bondadoso con sus compañeros, porque nosotros siempre hemos este, enfocado a los niños hacia los valores humanos que es lo más importante y es la base fundamental para que todos vivamos y crezcamos en paz, en armonía. Bueno, decirle a la gente de, no solo de Zipacapa, sino tal vez de Guatemala en general, el tema de minería es realmente nuevo y creo que lo vean como una oportunidad que, que tenemos de, de establecer alianzas de cooperación. Grupos en que producen café, vieron muchas grandes cosas, ¿verdad? Creo que la mina está ayudando a eso también, ¿verdad? En que la gente siembre café, siempre hay grupos, siempre queremos que la aldea sea más mejor. Que vengo a declarar oficialmente inaugurado este centro de atención permanente y estamos contentos porque esto lo que nos muestra es que cuando hay buena voluntad, cuando hay responsabilidad empresarial, cuando hay responsabilidad social, se pueden hacer alianzas adecuadas. Creo que esto es un ejemplo de lo mucho que se puede hacer y de lo que vamos a seguir haciendo, trabajando conjuntamente con la empresa Montana Exploradora de Guatemala. Ya el desarrollo es un poco más grande que hace ver un poco atrás, 10 años más o menos, no habían carreteras asfaltadas, no habían hospital como ahora. Todo lo que la mina pues, ofrece es mucho mayor que lo que era antes. Ya es una oportunidad grande para San Miguel y para Zipacap. These are some of our stories. There are many, many more. So how will the story end? That's the good thing. It never does. For as long as we're here, we will keep listening, sharing, and building new stories. We will continue to measure success, not by what we achieve while we're here, but by what lives on after we're gone. There will always be new challenges to face. Y de nuevos partenariados a hacer. Nuevos metas para alcanzar. We are one company. One company. One company. Somos una compañía. We are Gold Corp. And we have a thousand stories.